Hello, welcome to the High Yield webinar. Um, we're so glad you're with us today. Thank you for choosing to spend your lunch hour or if you're mountain or west coast time, maybe late breakfast hour with us. Um, we're going to get started here in another two minutes. We want to just leave the last couple minutes for the rest of the folks that registered um, to hop on. But while we do that, I'll just introduce myself and let Leslie introduce herself. I'm Tamsin Baker. I am president of our institutional products division at High Yield Med Reviews. So that means I am over our programs for institutions to nurse practitioner programs, as well as PA programs, pharmacy schools, medical residencies, and hospitals. So I oversee all of our institutional versus individual purchases. Um, and then joining me on the webinar is Leslie, who works more directly with our faculty and students at school. So I'll let her introduce herself. Yes, hello. Thank you so much for taking this time with us. Um, I, my name is Elsa Houston. I am the Director of Institutional Accounts at High Yield. And in, my, in that role, I help faculty identify which of our courses best fits their student population. My background as a registered nurse helps that, especially with our nurse practitioner programs. Um, I worked in critical care for seven years, so I have a, a little bit of an understanding of some of the clinical uh, scenarios that your students will be facing and just help identify which course fits best for you and how best to implement. Great. Thanks, Leslie. So we absolutely plan to respect your time today. We know um, all of you are busy and have other places to be. We're so honored you chose to give us a few minutes. But I'm going to tell you where we're going this afternoon, um, what we're going to talk about, and then we will absolutely leave some time at the end for any questions you might have. So as we go along, please feel free to put your questions in the chat. We won't identify you individually um, unless you ask us to. Um, so please feel free to ask whatever you're curious about. And when we're done, we'll also make sure to share our contact information if you do want to follow up and have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with us about your particular program or challenges you're facing so that we can help determine um, if there might be a good fit where we could help meet some of your more individualized or institutional needs. Um, so today we're going to do a quick walkthrough and introduction to high yield med reviews in case you're not familiar with us. And then um, share briefly what courses we offer to support nurse practitioner institutions. Um, and then finally, we will finish up. I'll kick it over to Leslie at that point and let her do a demo. Hey, welcome. I see a couple more people just topped on with us. Um, so we'll do an intro to high yield, an intro to what courses we offer for nurse practitioner programs, and then Leslie's going to do a demo of the actual platform so you can see exactly what students see who are using the platform um, and what you would see as a faculty member. Hey, good morning. I see a couple more joining us. Um, so real quickly, we're just going to re-intro just who we are so you know who's talking to you for the handful of folks that just joined us. I'm Tamsin Baker. I am president of the Institutional Products Division at High Yield Med Reviews. So I am over all of our uh, content that is designed and delivered to institutions, whether that's nurse practitioner programs, pharmacy schools, hospitals, et cetera. Leslie, do you want to short reintro yourself? Absolutely. I am Leslie Houston, the Director of Institutional Accounts, and in that role, I help faculty identify which pieces, which courses best fit your institution and how best to implement. Great. Well, we're going to uh, jump right in to make sure we respect everybody's time, and please feel free to put questions in the chat, and we will have some time uh, when we finish to make sure we address any of your questions. So let's get started. Uh, this presentation, we're really looking at our integrated pharmacology curriculum support for nurse practitioner programs. Um, we talk with a lot of faculty, and we hear a lot of the same just struggles uh, with nurse practitioner faculty. A really deep understanding of how critical and important it is that your students have a firm foundation in pharmacology, because we know one of the greatest privileges they gain becoming a nurse, nurse practitioner is that prescriptive authority. It's really important that they have that foundation. 
Um, but it's difficult. There is just oftentimes not enough time in a course to both really cover all of that core fundamental knowledge that needs to be covered, but also having time to do those additional learning activities. And as educators, um, I'm sure you all read probably more research than I read about how important it is for students to do active learning so that they're not just memorizing information, they're connecting the dots and really understanding the concepts. And so it sticks and they remember it when they're done with school and they're out in practice and treating patients. Um, secondly, there's just so many drugs and the list of drugs grows every year. Uh, so we hear a lot of just struggle with trying to keep up with the content, making sure it's up to date. Um, for faculty members who are doing their own lecture content. And then finally, with the new AACN Essentials, uh, we actually were so excited when that document came out because we believe it's really just right on track with some of the changes that are gonna benefit nurse practitioner education with the movement to competency and away from time-based standards and integration of pharmacology across the whole curriculum, not just sitting in a single course. But all of those good things also create challenges for implementation. And we want to be a part of the solution to partner with your programs with our resources. So one of the ways we do that is through a flipped classroom. And there's just so much research, especially with graduate level and above education, that this flipped classroom model is so effective for students really gaining a deeper understanding of knowledge where they're watching lectures at home and getting that core uh, foundational didactic uh, information. And then they're coming to class time, whether that's in a traditional, you know, in the classroom, in-person setting, or whether that's coming to um, an online format where maybe you're doing online activities. But by watching the lectures at home, they come to that time ready to really engage and start applying the information in more meaningful ways. So the way that we help meet some of those problems at high yield is through the flipped classroom model. And that model gives faculty more time to be able to do case studies, to be able to have more in-depth discussion, to do presentations, to allow their students to work together. Um, we recently published a blog article that discusses some of the different activities that different schools have shared with us that they're using that additional time to help their students really gain deeper understanding. We at High Yield are going to keep the content up to date for you so you don't have to worry about making sure that your lecture content reflects uh, the guidelines and that kind of thing. And finally, from the AACN perspective, we offer an integrated solution for pharmacology. So if your institution is trying to figure out how to not only deliver high quality advanced pharmacology, but also to bring pharmacology across the curriculum um, into the rest of the program, we're gonna talk a little bit about how we uh, help meet that need. So we know you have options for content, for um, textbooks, for lectures, from lots of different sources. And we really believe High Yield's different. Our mission at High Yield is to impact healthcare for good through premier medical education. We really care about the patient. And that is driven by our founder, and he's also our primary lecturer, Dr. Anthony Bestai. And Dr. Vestai just has a very unique training and background. He started as a nurse. Um, he did his BSN and practiced as a nurse and then went on to pharmacy school because he loved pharmacology and practices the pharmacist for many years, taught um, in several different academic institutions, teaching advanced pharmacology for nurse practitioners and also taught in a couple of pharmacy institutions. And then eventually he went back to med school and got his MD and currently has an active emergency medicine practice. All of that said, it really has caused him to be able to connect the dots in a really unique way. He has that deep um, understanding of pharmacology and love for it and passion for it, but he also has that bedside experience of what your nurse practitioner students are eventually going to be doing and probably are already doing as nurses, right? Being face-to-face -face with the patient and being able to bridge those gaps and make those connections. 
Um, so his background allows us to make those connections in a unique way. And our teaching methodology and our content development methodology um, follows the educational mo model of knowledge transfer. And this idea is the idea that you start with the core kind of explicit, memorizable type information, and then you begin to stepwise build on it and layer with more complex thoughts and ideas, um, application, critical thinking, and eventually that leads to not only a deeper level of understanding, but the ability to apply it to the patient in front of you, that idea of tacit knowledge. So that combination of our approach to teaching and Dr. Bessai's really unique background makes for incredible lectures. And that's what we hear all the time from our faculty, but also from our students, that they really find our content to be just so excellent and above what they've experienced elsewhere um, through other learning resources. So we wanna make sure that if you choose to use high yield to meet the need, in your institution, that implementation is the last of your worries. We wanna make this part really easy for you so that you have the time and the energy to engage with your learners. And simply, you choose your course, whether it's advanced pharmacology or our clinical rotation support or both, and we'll talk uh, a minute about what the differences in those courses are. Second is you decide who pays. So some of our institutions, the school has budget for it and just pays for the course. Content for their students. Um, a lot of our institutions take our content, replace the textbook in their course with our content and make it a required resource. And so it's in the syllabus and the students just purchase the content from us for the course. And then you add it to the syllabus and we have a really easy onboard um, process where you tell us you know when you're assigning the content and we provide the reporting to you so that you know if your students are watching the lectures which you can't do with the textbook right you can't know if they read the chapter um, but we can show if the students have watched the lectures and how they're performing on the quizzes so i just wanted to share a couple of quick reviews for you that are um, just examples of what we get back all the time it's Probably the favorite part of my job is seeing the student feedback come in at the end of each semester. Um, but this, it was a real live NP student with one of our institutions and sent an email just to let us know how intimidated she was by pharmacology and how much our course content within the context of her advanced pharmacology course with her faculty member really prepared her and that she uh, felt like she really understood why, not just what prescription you know, should be prescribed, but why it's preferred, why it matters. Um, my favorite line in this review is she says, I'm feeling confident now that I have the foundation needed to prescribe safely. And that's our goal. We want to be a part of, of the solution of helping nurse practitioners be as prepared as possible to be great clinicians. The next review here is from one of our faculty members. Dr. Branham was one of our early adopters. He teaches in an ACNP program, um, and our program can fit FNP programs, ACNP programs. We have a lot of different specialty programs that work with us. But his feedback was that his students loved it, um, that they found the course difficult, challenging, but that they felt better prepared for practice. And again, that is what we're about. So let me step back just a little and tell you what's in our courses. So like I said before, uh, very briefly, we have two courses we offer. One is the advanced pharmacology, and then the other, which is that integration piece, um, is clinical rotation support. So obviously advanced pharmacology is those advanced drug class reviews. And then the clinical rotation support is going to be disease state reviews that are looking at the therapeutic application of the pharmacology and the disease state. And in both of those courses, your students get with our course lectures and ebook, which has the lecture notes, organized into modules by organ system. Um, so they're packaged together into modules. And then each module has a quiz, except for the foundational uh, module. But each of the content modules has a quiz that goes with it. Some of our schools use that for a grade. 
Um, some of our partnering institutions just use it as a self-assessment tool and allow the students to get the feedback with it. And then finally, we provide you as the faculty member with administrative reports so that you can see how your students are doing. You can use that information for grades if you choose to and how they're um, performing on their quizzes. Like I said, uh, you've got a team that's committed to partnership. So the Leslie uh, is gonna do our demo here in a moment. You've met me. And Tony Clark works really closely with our institutional partners and is just an excellent resource. We wanna make sure that if you choose high yield to partner with you for advanced pharmacology or clinical rotation support, that you are getting that freedom to do the work that is so important to bring your experience and expertise and we help implement to make it easy um, so that you're not caught up in the details. So I'm going to pause there and stop sharing my screen to see if we have any questions. And then I'm gonna kick it over to Leslie um, so that she can share a demo with you of the actual platform so you can see what students see. Wait a moment here. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the chat. Okay. Okay, Leslie. I'm... Okay. Thank you. Um, so I am going to show you uh, uh, the high yield dashboard. This is where students. This is what students will see. This is where they will access the content. So as I briefly mentioned, um, my background as a critical care nurse gives me a unique understanding of some of the clinical situations that your students will face. And it helps me help you design an implementation of our content that best prepares you, your students for clinical competency. So today I am showing you a dashboard and this is our advanced pharmacology course. If your institution is already implementing uh, pharmacology across the entire NP curricula. We do have content that will support that as well. I'm showing you one piece, that advanced pharmacology course. These are the components of that. Um, if you're interested in NP clinical rotation support or a more integrated approach would fit best for your institution, I would love to have a one-on-one -on -one talk to discuss more um, about what we have to offer you. But for simplicity's sake, this is how students will um, access our content. So in, as we say, we can replace a textbook, obviously not replacing faculty because that's insanity. Um, but instead of assigning chapters to be read to prepare for course time, our, fac our partnering faculty assign lectures to be watched beforehand. So on the dashboard, I'm first gonna start, um, we always have a begin here button. This is an orientation for students to help them understand even in even greater um, depth what we have, how their uh, dashboards work, because obviously if you're a new partner, then the first time students log into the dashboard, we want to make sure at every step, at every turn, that your students feel equipped and empowered. Um, so there is that. The advanced pharmacology lectures are broken into 10 organ-based modules. There is one quiz per module. There is some additional optional content that does not have a quiz and there is not a quiz with the foundations of pharmacology. Um, this is covering the pharmacokinetics and genetics laying that foundation. Um, special populations, this is a commonly asked question, is addressed through the lectures, but as it um, as it applies to each organ-based module. So, for instance, in cardiology, Dr. Bustai addresses, you know, according to children, geriatrics, adults. It's all integrated throughout. There's not one specialty subset. So, this special populations lecture, if your eye caught that, he's just sort of explaining that. But these are the the modules, the advanced pharmacology lectures are focused on drug class review. Our NP clinical rotation support is focused on therapeutic application. The students click and this is where they access the lectures. They are, they do sync and can be used on any device, phone, iPad, laptop, desktop, 
any of it. We also do have an ebook that corresponds as well. They can highlight, take notes within the ebook. Um, institutional customers can watch lectures an unlimited number of times. They can also speed up the lecture if they so choose. Um, and there is closed captioning on the lectures as well. This is an example of the quiz. Um, there is some customization available within the quizzes. Uh, they can be, they can have a time limit. You can choose the time limit. Most of our institutions, the quizzes are either five or 10 questions. Um, they are, the time limit is usually 10 to 15 minutes, depending on the number of questions. We can make that more or less. If there are students with educational differences that require additional time, we can accommodate that as well. Um, the quizzes, you can choose the students to be able to see the answers after they take the quiz, so they can review and see the rationale. The rationale within the quiz also has a high yield core concept and fast fact frequently, um, and it helps them understand why the answer is what the answer is. Um, they can also, you can also choose that the students do not get to see the answers if you're wanting to you know, truly use it as a grade and an assessment for um, the retention and digestion of the information. We can do that. Uh, if you would prefer to have students to take um, the quiz multiple times, multiple attempts, you can do that as well. These are some of the things that if you choose to partner with High Yield, you and I would have a little bit more discussion to see um, how are you wanting to implement? Um, going back to the organ based module, so the content is broken into 10 modules. This is enough content to support either a three hour course um, or occasionally if you have a two hour course, you might want to, we might discuss do you want to assign the full amount of content or how much of the content? If your semester is eight weeks, 14 weeks, 15 weeks. Um, some conversations that we would have as well with implementation is how do you want to assign the content? You would assign it through your syllabus. Um, so you tell the students when to watch lectures, when, um, at what point during the semester, when to take the quiz. And then during for advanced pharmacology, you get 10 reports and we send you a report that will show what percentage of the lectures the student watched um, and what their quiz grades are as well. Um, we can also show you even like how long they took in the quiz. Did they take the full time? Did they take two minutes? Um, our system even tracks how many times they log in. So this is our high yield dashboard. I will stop sharing my screen and let's see um, what questions you'll have. And while we wait on a couple questions, Leslie, can you just share um, a little more? I know I mentioned earlier that we can replace the textbook um, and that there's the option for student purchase. And I know when I've talked to faculty, that's always a big deal because it kind of shortens that procurement red tape situation that they're able to just let the student purchase instead of necessarily having to go get budget. So can you share with us what that looks like for the faculty member or for the student when we engage with the school that way? Absolutely. So for the student purchase option, because in that instance, we truly replace a textbook um, in your syllabus, you would say use high yield advanced pharmacology for NPs or whichever of our courses um, you choose to partner. But we create a unique website and just your students would use that. When they click on that website, they we take care of all the purchasing and everything as well. Um, they purchase the content through that link. That link then creates their account and they immediately have access to the content. Um, and you can choose as well if the students immediately have access to the quizzes or if you want them to be standardized, paced out through the, the course, you know, the quiz piece is always, we have lots of discussions before we release quizzes and make those active, but um, the students go ahead and get access to the lectures. And if your institution is using advanced pharmacology or just MP clinical rotation support, your students have access to our content for a calendar year, um, the lectures and then the ebook for two years. 
if you're implementing across the entire NP curricula, your students have access to the content for the entire length of the program. Great. Um, yes, and by doing the website like that, I mean, that's how we're able to also provide reporting. So if your school pays for it, we set up the accounts. We take care of um, even communicating. You know, Leslie sends the emails to your students to tell them how to access what their password is, or if they're using the purchase link, we can send that out to the student list for you if you like us to, and we always see faculty members on any communication with your students, mm -hmm. um, and or we just provide the link to you and you can put it in the, as the required resource, and associated with that link is your school and your class so that we're putting them in a class that we can provide reporting for you. Um, let's see, there's a question here. Hey, how frequently do we update content, which is a great question. So we have a team, and feel free to look on our website, of editors um, that every 12 months are going through the content, but we have some editors that are in specific areas too. For instance, uh, one of our editors does a lot of work in the diabetes area. So folks are assigned to be watching for kind of guidelines in certain areas, especially those that are inclined to be updated more frequently. And then we have a recording schedule um, on about an every 12 month basis where they will update content that needs, needs updating to be up to date. It's a great question, thank you. Another it is, um, as Tamsin was saying, we do update content on a rotating basis and you will notice or maybe you didn't notice, I didn't point it out explicitly, but the lecture button, um, the it said Advanced Pharmacology, it's 2022-2023, because we, that's the most recent lecture subset. The, have the next question I see here, and maybe Leslie, you can, I'll, I'll throw the uh, presentation piece, I'm sorry, back over to you, Leslie, that you can show. If I can find that again, because gotcha. so addressing first of all, the question was, can you show the list of organs? Um, so I'm going <laughs> to click here when I can find that. There we go. Gotcha. Um, but also the question on children and adolescents. So Leslie commented on this. We do have that one lecture that talks about kind of general considerations with uh, special populations, which would, of course, include pediatrics and geriatrics. But apart from that lecture, in each applicable, applicable that word had a hard time today, lecture, um, that's integrated across. So if there are considerations in a particular lecture for adolescents, for infants, for pregnant women, for geriatrics, they will cover that in the course of the lecture rather than having a set of lectures that is focused just on pediatrics. And then Leslie, if you maybe want to Excellent. Speak to the organ yeah. system. And so, so here's the, the list of organ systems. Psych, psychiatric pharmacology is included. Now, I wanted to point out that our advanced pharmacology is focused on drug class review. So covering this is a beta blocker. This is the structure of a beta blocker. This is what you need to know. Focus on the drug itself. Our clinical rotation is focused on therapeutic application. So then the discussion is, okay, high blood pressure. What do you do in this instance for high blood pressure? What are considerations? So um, the psychiatric piece of this is a little bit shorter. However, if you're interested in therapeutic application, I'd be happy to set you up with a sample account, give you um, uh, access to our lectures, and you can see which um, interests you, the therapeutic application piece, our clinical rotation, or implementing the advanced pharmacology drug class review lectures. Um, and again, Dr. Busti addresses um, special populations as it's applicable to each lecture. If there's a specific consideration for geriatrics or pediatrics, it's addressed within the lecture as he goes. Um, and how do we ensure- so Our next question, oh, I'm sorry. I would say the next question's on the quizzes. And the question was, how do you ensure the integrity of the assessment questions? Um, and there's two ways. I'm not certain which way you mean. Um, I'm going to take a guess. And if you want clarification, please just chat it in. But I'm guessing you probably mean, because this is what we hear more often from faculty, you know, what, what can we do to try to prevent cheating among our students and that kind of thing? 
So there again, where Leslie was sharing kind of the variety of different options you have on how to deliver the quizzes, um, some of those manners make it more self-assessment based where you can actually let them see the answers and see the feedback and the rationale and all of that. Or we can focus, uh, or they can be test only where they take the questions and they have just the score come back to them. You know, say you got eight out of 10 correct, you got 80%, but they don't know which ones. Um, we're even able, if you want to, depending on your program, this works or doesn't work, um, to deliver the quizzes within a time frame. So if you are really concerned about trying to make sure that your students, we even have courses that occasionally will choose to set the time frame where the students take the quiz in class time and they're randomly delivered so students aren't getting number one all at the same time. Um, so we can put some of those things in order or in place in the way we set up the quiz uh, to help make it more secure. But this is also where we realize it's not, the quizzes are intended to be a kind of checkpoint on if the students have understood what they've watched in the lectures because you're able to see if they've watched the lectures. So we would certainly encourage you as the faculty member that you're doing other things to assess their knowledge, whether those are projects, whether there's a midterm or final exam. Um, these quizzes are a great tool and our schools love them, but probably would not recommend saying this would be your only form of assessment because absolutely there's opportunity there for, you know, if you give a full day for the students to do a quiz or a week to communicate among each other and share what those questions might be. And I want to... Again, if that wasn't an answer to your question, please feel free to expand. Go ahead, Leslie. I'm sorry. Yeah, I wanted to chime in as well because um, we also have an editorial team and we do look at, keep an eye on as our student, because we ha we partner with institutions across the country. And so we have a lot of students answering the questions and our system tracks um, what percent correct are all the population taking the quiz. So we do keep an eye on how the questions themselves are performing to make sure that the question itself is a good question. And as the content is updated, the editorial team stays on top of the quiz questions as well to make sure that those are um, up to date and matching the content and a good fit for the students as well. Absolutely. I'm going to share my screen here and please feel free to put additional questions in the question box. But ultimately, you know, as I've kind of shared what makes us different, what sets high yield apart, not all lectures, you know, as faculty members delivering lectures, you strive to, to be a better um, educator with each year. And there's just differences between content and how it's delivered. And we really believe that what we have to offer is excellent content and the best way for you to experience that is not to hear me or Leslie talk about how great it is but to experience the content yourself. So um, if you are watching, you know, participating in this webinar on a web or on a computer or a laptop, feel free to snap this QR code with your phone if you'd like. This just gives you access to our full lecture set for the Advanced Pharmacology. Like Leslie said, if you are interested in our rotational support, those disease state lectures with therapeutic application, let us know. We'll be glad to give you access to that content. And when I talk to faculty, I always encourage you, you know, on your drive home today or uh, when you're out for a walk, listen to a lecture or two because ultimately that's what we hear so frequently from folks is they love the lectures and they just find the content to be really compelling. Um, you may have noticed in our triangle and I didn't highlight it, our goal is for all of our lectures to be easy to understand. So taking complex and difficult concepts, making them easy to understand, evidence-based, clinically relevant, and oriented to the patient. And that is how we approach these topics so that it's not just academic. It really connects with your students, with their experience they've had so far as nurses, and stepping into um, what experience they can expect to have as nurse practitioners. If there's anything else we can do for you, um, if you would like to have a quote, if you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation about the uniqueness of your particular course or school, the challenges you're having or how you deliver, um, obviously Leslie has a lot of experience working with different institutions. She can provide you a sample syllabus 
um, or you know, have a discussion with you about how do I make this fit into an eight-week summer course. We've, we've done all of that with many different institutions, so she's a great resource. And even as I'm showing you my screen, I see my typo. It's highyieldmedreviews.com. I can't see your MP. screen, Tamsin. I can't oh, see fine. your screen. Are y'all able to see it? That's there we I go. I apologize. There you go. I'll ignore the typo, but definitely grab the QR code. Um, and we'll just leave this up here for a minute if there's any. Oh, it looks like one more question popped in. They're oh, just on the screen. Thank you for the comment. So I will plan to send each of you just a thank you email for joining us today and a recorded link to this webinar. So if there's other members of your team at your institution that couldn't join us um, or that you want to share this content with, feel free to. You can reply back to me and we can set up a one-on-one -on -one or get you access to whatever additional information you're interested in seeing. I really appreciate you all joining us today. It's been a pleasure. Um, and I hope we have the opportunity to talk further because we really are just so excited about what's happening in the advanced pharmacology world of education and excited to be a part of it with you. All right, with that, we'll wrap up the webinar. Have a wonderful rest of your day and um, hopefully we can talk soon. <laughs>